And look at that. Just like that, the sun is out again after freaking seems like five days. It's starting to get the press there. Yeah. But we're good to go. Anyways, we got Chris here today. We're going to have some fun. We had about a week of rain, but it seemed to dry up super fast. So that's nice. There's a little, little muck over there. But anyways, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure to hit notifications. Only like 1% of you guys actually have notifications. I was just looking at that stuff the other day. I was like... This is absolutely ridiculous. So, um, we just got a Dodge Dakota, so we're gonna play with that today and burn the tires off. I had some requests from the video the other day that we got a new vehicle, we didn't break it in with a burnout. I'm like, I know. Well, it doesn't have front brakes, so we we're kind of kind of in a rush that day, and uh, we we're losing light very fast. We only had 20 minutes of light left, so we just kind of finished the video. All the excuses, all the excuses. All the excuses. I know. I was, you know, sometimes I get full car ramrod going, and it's just like do it every as fast as possible. So we're gonna do it on barrel lids today, because as you know, they're metal. And when you do a burnout on metal, it smokes great, and the tire doesn't wear off super fast. It's super slow. Should look good. Yeah, and I got some uh, foam tire shine, so I figure we'll spray that on there. Beautiful. Get her sit up and slipping and sliding. And good news, we have a new beacon. So I um, basically with the Skydio drone. This is a follow drone, so it follows you everywhere you can go, or you can fly with the remote. But 99% of the time, I just use the beacons. So when we jump cars. I shove this in the front seat and the drone just follows the beacon and it hits the jumps, boom. You can also use your phone, but the beacon, eh, it's best to use both. But anyways, the beacon came loose when it was in the car and I got, it was flopping around and the car jumped a hundred feet and I broke the beacon, but not the outside, just the internals. Like it wouldn't connect anymore, it wouldn't connect the satellite. So hopefully this new one is good to go. So we'll show you show you just how good the Skydio drone is. And there is a $50, fifty uh, $50 discount code below if you guys want one. But we're gonna set her up right now, go for a little rip in the Maverick, do some donuts, and then uh, that's just Dodge Dakota time. Should be a good time. And then you can play with your new instruments. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Brand new pre-owned. Uh, all right, here we go. I'm using the beacon, here we go. That's how you do it. Let's fire this thing up and go for a rip. <laughs> I got her in orbit mode right now. It just about took the hair off the top of my head. A little higher now. This is how fast you can do it. Seven meters a second. That's a little too fast. Jeez. <laughs>
trust that drone. I They've been talking about drones taking people out now. Because <laughs> it's watching me. It's not looking for you. No. But it does have sense to crash sensors on it. Yeah. But I, I made it, uh, I, there's a custom setting. I said, don't avoid Chris. Hit him at all costs. So it is coming for Facial you. Facial recognition, moment. right? Yeah. Noses in and gets you right in the so, junk. I know it's, it might be hard to see on camera, but it was over here. And obviously, I just kept kicking it over here. I wasn't trying to line it up with the drone. No. That drone did itself, and it actually said case landing on here. So nice. It definitely knows the case. And the best part about it is all the footage uploads to my phone, and I can pick clips and 4K right away. All right, let's get that Dodge going and uh, burn some rabbit. All right, just let Chris take her for a rip. We are gonna get to the truck in a minute. I'm just uploading footage from the drone to my phone. I'm gonna show you how it's done. All right. All right. Here, you know the GoPro. Perfect. Me GoPro guy. <laughs> All right. There you go. Go time.
Alright, oh yeah, I gotta measure this thing. Someone wants this cap. Everyone's messed me for this thing. Everyone wants to buy it. I'm like, I don't want to sell it. I want to sell some parts. So I think some guy's taking the box. Some guy wants some fenders. Some guy wants the door. And then, you know, there's all the uh, the scrap guys that want the cats, but... Jokes They're on gone. them. It didn't even come with cats. <laughs> all right. Oh, I got some mud down my neck. Got some neck mud. Neck mud. I was debating on skipping the puddle with the Mav, and then I thought... Yeah. Better not! Oh! I got you there. So I'm not a goalie. All right, so just remember, no brakes. So if you're, you're gonna drive like a wild man, avoid the truck over there. Okay. But everything else, go time. All right. And if you're going through the, the puddle, make sure you have some momentum because it's only two wheel drive as well. I mean, we could go get the yank and yank you out, but it's just easier to hit it with speed. Yeah. And she's full of $20 of gas, so should should get us through a couple minutes. Yeah. yeah. All, all quarter ten. This was a dollar forty-eight in London today. So. That was wild. Remember pre pre uh, pandemic, it was like sixty-five cents a liter. Now it's a buck forty-eight. When I pumped gas back in my day. Back in Chris's day. Twenty dollars would fill your tank in a truck. Yeah. Twenty dollars doesn't even take my truck off the gas light. <laughs> wow. Isn't that ridiculous? Redonculitis. Yeah. Right. You know how to warm these things up, right? Yep. Do e it. Oh yeah, someone commented. They're like, "Did you test the e-brake?" I'm not. I'm not a big e-brake tester because I know they can get stuck on, but we'll give her a whirl. Yeah. If it gets stuck on, we'll just freaking drag her behind the truck until e-brakes off. Sounds decent though, eh? Because they they did put a muffler back on it. Yeah, don't smash the rat out. Uh, hey, we could jump it backwards today. Just over that kid's jump. You feel like jumping? Sure. All right. Well, let's see, let's see what you got first. Yeah, there's good Dodge floor mats in here too, if anybody wants them. Perfect. All right, let's see what this thing up. Yeah, no brakes. Right to the floor. Chunky mud there the other day. <laughs> you got me. Oh. Wow, those mud tires it worked well. Susie went in there, I was like, oh, might as well go get the Yankum. But no, those mud tires are pretty incredible. How is she for donuts? Oh, pretty good. Better than the last Dodge, the one wheel peeler. Yeah, do them over here, it's a little flatter. Less ruts. Oh, never mind, he's gone. <laughs> uh, absolute beauty of a day today. I had no plans. I text Chris last night, like, we gotta get out tomorrow. Do some filmings for the weekend, so. I'm glad we came out today. And, and the sun is popping out. We haven't seen it in like, I don't know, four days. And yes, it does It does get crappy when you can't see the sun. It's just foggy and, oh God, here we go. Better get some speed there, Chris. I was trying to point to do them over here because it's a little flatter. Less ruts for you. And the e brake kind of works. Kind of. Like 4%? I can't believe you didn't get stuck that first time. Like these tires are awesome. Yeah. Like when you kind of slid in, I'm like, oh, better go, go get the yank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pull the brad. Pull the brad. Just straight into it. That's a drop in coming this way. Oh, yeah. You drop in, you're like, uh oh. Yeah, I dug it out. Uh, was it this year or last? So. Gasp. All right, all right. Let's rip some donies. Fire away! Yeah, me. Yeah, me again.
<laughs> uh, what a beast. This one was very, very nerve wracking with no brakes. I know. <laughs> you got me one chug, but I was just worried about the rocks when they can hit the windows. Oh. All right, let's set up the drone again and go for an actual rip. Yeah, take a road. All right, let's do her. Here's all the spray foam from when we were shooting the other day. Oh, actually, Chris, bring her over. We got to tighten the lug nuts on that thing. I noticed a few were loose the other day. Good thing we got the right tools for the job. I got this fresh atomic uh, half inch impact. So, you know, the big one I usually use, this is a little guy. And it's got a, <laughs> it's got a screw end bolt setting and you can adjust, adjust the lights on it as well. Here's my original impact. So they're almost the same size. Pretty close. She hauls. Hauls coconuts. All right, what size? What size nuts we got on here? Here, I'll let you do this, Chris. You got more hands. They're 19s. 19. Well, those are. Do you want the other ones? How do you how do you how do you know they're 19s? Oh, it's too Somebody's gonna quickly correct me. There you know. There we go. Here. There's we'll get you some 19s. If it's a 19, I'm gonna poop. There you go. 19. Oh my god. <laughs> Throw it on. Let's see what you got. I think you gotta set it on two. I don't know. Bolt, we got screw. bolt, screw, and then one, two. I'm gonna guess two is the better setting. J's three is the best setting. So. I know, like this just this one just has one, two, three. But that one's got bolt, screw, and one, two. It's like a poet and you don't know it. We'll find out here. Make sure you put the socket on it first. This one? Yeah. Oh, uh I do actually. Oh my god, let me go through the kit. Hold on. All right, I got your damn extension. My little Tupperware thing broken on the bottom. Is that one fine. made in China? Because it's made the in dollar, the, the dollar store. Dollarama stuff's made in Canada. It's made in the dollars. Dollarama or dollar store? Dollarama. Dollarama is all made in Quebec. All their plastic stuff. You sound like Brad. Just making up random facts, like the Alaskan goose that was, or the Alaskan heron that was here the other day. Alaska and then some guy from Alaska commented, he's like, there's no such thing. How does he know? <laughs> and I freaking love it. Well, I freaking love that it. guy, every bird is white in Alaska, I love saying so. I love saying all the wrong things. So, But half the time, I'm actually wrong. Because obviously, I don't know everything about everything. But sometimes I do it on purpose. Yeah, but YouTube will let you know when you're wrong. So oh, yeah. don't worry. Yeah. And feel you're free always least, learning here, right? Yeah. Leave some comments, guys. I'll respond to them. I'm getting better. I go in waves. Sometimes I respond a lot. Sometimes I go in a little. But I'm getting back into cardio, so I, that's when I respond when I'm on the bike. Holy! I wonder what screw would do. Wow, that had no problem ripping. It's probably a little unscrewed. I, I told you to tighten them up, not take them off. You want me to tighten them? <laughs> yeah. Front. I was wondering, guys. They're already to see on, it. Mr. Freeman. You were just, t well, they needed to be tighter. Tighter. You just wanted to test out the new freaking atomic half yeah, inch here, it's, right? It's beauty. Yeah, it works well. Let's see if I, I don't know, we gotta look at the settings, see how tight these are supposed to go. I know the one Jay's got goes to 350 foot pounds. That thing is nuts. Yeah, like the same one I have. Yeah, what? We'll have to check the settings. I think I threw the manual in the garbage. Like it's same place I throw all manuals, but. Uh, I feel like torque, torque uh, stuff you should know. I've, I'm a 500 foot pound kind of guy. Are you? Yeah, I go until they break off. Well, that's the perfect. Or I cross thread them. That's the universal Loctite. It's just cross thread. Yeah. You just got to keep going all the way and you're done. That's <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you, make it the all the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. They're at Friends the they're at the scrapyard trying to take these things off. I'm like, no, I have welded them on there. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's a good tool. She works good. Yeah. Highly recommended. DeWalt Atomic Half Inch. Well, it's putting them as tight as they were. And I'm assuming that somebody's torqued them. All right, we'll get some stats later when, yeah. we, when we care. All right, let's throw up this drone and... Uh, do you want to drive or you want me to drive? Whatever. You can drive. I can drive. Let me yeah, drive. just be crazy. All right.
Just watch it for the little burn back there. I'm sure you saw it already. Yeah. It's like a I foot high. It. Yeah. Yeah, I caught some air last time. <laughs> Hurt my head. <laughs> Forgot it was there. All right, I need more hands. We'll put this bad boy out. Skydio 2. Round 2. I'm all the way up. Paused. Back. Let's go back right. About this distance. Oh, watch the weeds, bud. Yeah, they need to be trimmed anyway. All right, you better ready to go, Tammy. This thing is a gift that keeps on giving. Hockey Look pucks? You know expensive hockey pucks are? Found a freaking no exit sign in there. Oh, you're not going to keep that? I'll get a little. Okay, that's your little pile over there. Yeah. All right, let's go for a rip. Oh, my God. Need a new sock? Ugh. A pair of socks, sir. A pair of socks? No when, the, when the sock shortage happens with this eighth wave of COVID, you're going to wish you didn't don't grab those. Don't say the C word. If you don't talk about it, it doesn't exist. That's, right. That's what I learned. When Facebook went down the other day, it's quite it, a, it did not. 12 hours. All the, all the professional vaccinators had nothing to talk about. That's right. No research. All right. I'm going to fire this up and go for a rep. Yeah, big bump. when you just crank it. Yeah. But trying to avoid cars and jumps. Come on, Chris. Show us what you got. It's a little nerve-wracking with no brakes. Even the e-brake doesn't really work. You don't need the e-brake where we're going. Whoa. Do not hit the whoops. <laughs> Can your, you imagine? Your head will hurt. Yeah. Let her fly. <laughs> so you just gotta come in hot to this corner. Yeah, all right. Ugh. Woo! Oh, I forgot. I have to change the settings on my GoPro. It's back to super wide again. Yeah, there we go. Super wide. We're back. Oh, here come the donuts. Oh, we gotta oh, hit. We gotta hit the puddle. But you need to hit it with way more speed. I'm just working on the... Uh oh. I don't think you're supposed to put this window down. I don't think it goes back. Oh. There you go. I got Billy a child lock on. Oh, okay. Brad must have been in here. All right. Floor it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder how that looked on the drone. <laughs> oh. 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 Lost what the beacon. Uh oh. Uh, the drone's hanging out. We should, did yeah. you take the uh... Oh, re. Oh, it lost us. Oh, there it goes. Hold on. All right, we gotta do it one more time. What about the airbags? You get uh, any the fuse airbags? Pulled? You get the fuse pulled? Oh yeah, sure. Sure, sure. <laughs> uh, that sound it's good. good. It's just how we just lost some plastic. <laughs> I like that sound. Good grinding, it's just the bearings. That's yeah, just the muffler bearings. <laughs> uh, into the burn. All right, you ready? Yeah, let's yeah, do it. Oh. <laughs> Ow. I have a seatbelt in the neck there. <laughs> you didn't have a steering wheel to hold on to. I got the drone, the beacon, my phone, the GoPro. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, All right, let's. Uh, I think it's burnout time. Yeah, let's get her set. Where are we going to lean it against? Uh, oh, yeah, we got to lean. Actually, there's a nice dirt pile over there. Go over there. Over, over. Beyond the Maverick. Underwear? Yeah. <laughs> see the see the tall dirt pile? The dirt pile over there, but next to the Maverick? Yeah. Alright. That one. We got 35% left of the drone, so let's get her done. Let's get her done quick. There we go. Alright, we just left the drone going. We got some tires shine. We're gonna put them uh, on that underneath the tires. And you got some sick shots here. It's gonna be smoky. 
Good luck in there. <laughs> I'll adjust it for you. A little more. A little more. Ah, you're you're slipping and sliding. <laughs> we might have to back up and kind of get a more of a run at it. There you go. Oh, you didn't get a run at it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Perfect. I guess you got no brakes, eh? Yeah, okay, go right, go right a little. Yeah, right there. Here, I'll kick it. All right, go forward. <laughs> this thing just. spot right. maybe beside the freestyle jump somewhere where it's a little more level all right let's see if she'll land on the case this time with all the shrapnel everywhere here I'm not flying it's flying itself see oh yeah that's how it's done Scadio 2 all right the battery was getting a little low so I'm just gonna grab a new battery for it open her up Freshy, shubbing. This is also the pro case too. You can get uh, get one when you order. It's pretty awesome. Holds everything. Five batteries. You got a better idea there, Chris? Unless you want to keep the doors in that car, let's lean it against the car. I don't you know. Yeah, we can. What is that sound? Someone driving. Uh, Just combine. Just combine. Yeah, I guess we could do it against the car. Anywhere where it's more flat. It just seemed like you were sliding backwards there. So, actually, I got an idea. Right. Why don't we just put it, like, right here, and I'll just hook the winch to the Maverick. All right. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Okay, here we go. Round four. Get it tight. Oh, just about pulling it back. All right, should be good here. Back a little far, but that's all right. Hopefully it sinks in. Right. Just afraid we're on a bit of an angle, so I'm just afraid we're gonna slide down again sideways, but. Round three. All right, let's foam up those tires. So we got the winch hook to the Maverick to this. Uh. All right, so I'm thinking just start slow yeah. and then let her fly. Yeah, if I yell stop, then stop. Give no? Give it out no, and stop. Ah. All right, that's good. Best part about this beacon, there's a magnet on it. See, it's magnetic. Wouldn't, work. Wouldn't work with those aluminum forces. She's not the strongest magnet. <laughs> or maybe this isn't the strongest metal. But yeah, yeah, those aluminum forts, I tell you. Little tire foam, make them nice and slippery. It's cheap stuff anyway. Hopefully, I don't ruin my parking pin. All right, Chris. Says go. Good luck out there. Right. Action. Nope. We're gonna have to put the brake on in the Maverick, I think. We'll have to grab the launch matic that's what we'll have to do. All right, you get those lined up, I'll grab the launch matic <laughs> All right, we got the launch matic that I used to jump the cars. It's better work, Chris. I feel like you're gonna slide off though. Maybe I'll hold it. They're gonna kick out. Go. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Huh. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I don't know. The problem is it wants to go down though, right? Here. Yeah. Is it moving back? Yeah. Yeah, we gotta lean against something. 
Yeah, well, maybe you go against the hill or something. We'll figure it out. All right, I think this is the one. Go time. Put her in drive. <laughs> oh, it keeps sliding off. Whew. We're so close. We are. I thought we had it. We should change the chain that rates in the truck. <laughs> chain, chain those. <laughs> oh. All right, what's more? These things are too light. Maybe drone. The last time I did a burnout, you did this to me too. But if it's for the show, we'll do it. Yeah, you're going. That was weird. I went from single peel to dual peel. Woo! Woohoo! Woo! Woohoo! What happened? I switched. I went from single peel to dual peel. Yeah. That one wasn't spinning at all. The other one is just smoking it. Wow. One wheel drive. Alright, I feel like we're close. Not on it now. Right in front of him. You roll back a little so it should work. All right. The right one was. Oh, was it? Yeah. The key is just smashing it. Smashing the gas pedal. I know, that's what I did, but it still has that little bit of lag. Eh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it works well. And the exhaust out. is blowing all the, the smoke oh, as it's coming off. That's sick. All right, well. And we still got lots of tread. Oh, yeah. We'll save it for future burnouts. Plus, Maybe. we still got a spare tire, and we got front tires. Where you got to go? Hey, land that drone. Of course, the door's locked as always. Whew. We need some more vehicles, guys. Hit me up if you got any vehicles. Ah. You're definitely a little smoky. Were right? you smoking this side? I couldn't see from this. Yeah. Side. Yeah. I was on the gravel though. Yep. Yeah, she chewed the she chewed the gravel a little bit more. Right. Here, drone. Here, drone. Come on. Yeah, I ran out of the mud. Woo! Link below, $50 off if you guys want one. Anyways, we're gonna wrap this one up for today before we get too out of control. It was a little tricky to do a burnout, but uh, we figured it out. So, have you guys selves a fantastic day. Don't do anything we wouldn't do. Follow Chris on the Instagram. And uh, yeah, if you got any vehicles, even if you wanna bring them out and hang out with us, let me know. London, Ontario. We'll see you guys later.